Finally, the Oboe Shoes Games channel is covering a good game. This is Bionicle Heroes, released for pretty much everything. It's a third-person shooter where you play as Bionicles. This game is a Lego Star Wars ripoff. No, it's not. You don't have a specific character who can use the Force on objects. You don't collect Lego studs. You collect Lego Technic bricks. They're very different. No, no, that's not a true Jedi meter up there. Honestly, if you have no nostalgic connection to the Bionicle franchise, you probably play this game for like five or ten minutes and then get bored and quit. But if you like Bionicles a lot like me, then you play this game for like five or ten minutes and get bored, but you keep playing because it has all the cool Bionicles in it. You thought the original Lego Star Wars was a collect-a-thon grind? Ha ha ha. Oh, my sweet summer child, you have not played the game Bionicle Heroes. Because at least LEGO Star Wars has, like, Star Wars levels. Even if you're bored of playing Tantive 4 for the fourth time, it's still Tantive 4, it's still cool. But Bionicle Heroes is just like, hey, it's, uh, it's an outdoor area, and, uh, there's a bow rock there, so shoot him. This is the entire gameplay loop for 10 hours, so hope you enjoy. Only the blue Bionicle can walk across water. Bet you didn't know Bionicle had its own Jesus, did you? See, they got the lore all wrong with this game. They made Bionicle Jesus be Holly. Bionicle Jesus is, in fact, Matoro, not Holly. Oh, there's Matoro. There he is. Yeah, see, this guy is Jesus right here. You can tell he is divinely inspired because he has the sniper rifle. Do you have all the characters in this game built IRL? Not all of them. I don't have Kitongu, but the rest, yes. I do actually have, like, every single Bionicle in this game. Like, favorite, subscribe if you want a 24-hour stream of me trying to rebuild every Bionicle I own. Look out, it's the Vizorak. What are the Vizorak doing here, honestly? Traveler's Tales makes good games where they have no respect for the lore. Whenever I play one of these Bionicle games, I get comments that are like, dude, you can't just use all those made-up Bionicle phrases and expect me to know what they mean. It's like, come on, it's the Rakshi Gurok, don't you know? Is that Korok the Ice Borok? It is. Korok the Ice Borok is in this game. Play the clip. Korok the Ice Borok, able to shoot ice blast from their claws! Whoa! I did not know Kongu had a massive jump. New Paru can climb the wall. Not quite as cool as jumping, though, I gotta say. I don't know why Onepu didn't get to become the Toa and Nuparu did. Onepu's cooler. Fight me in the comments if you disagree. Oh, Oboshu's games. I can't enjoy this stream. It doesn't make any sense. You're just saying Bionicle lore. It's a bunch of nonsense. No one even knows that. If you don't know Bionicle lore, then I don't know what to tell you, man. It's pretty common knowledge at this point. Everybody knows that when the Toei Inika went to the island of Voyanui, they were not, in fact, a million Rahi they had to contend with. They were mainly contending with the vicious Paraka, who had previously defeated the Toa Nuva when they landed there before. Taka was there as well. He's Bison a tough was, guy, but Axon the was, was there. Was he got turned into like a taco for them. And Tomo Mari had to go underwater. What is that weird green ball? What does it do? Oh, it's a Xamor Sphere. Oh, dude. I should have known. I recognize that from your Forgotten Weapons video. Yes. We have an in-depth analysis of the Xamor Sphere launcher here on the channel. So check it out if you're unfamiliar. Invert the launcher like this. And there you have it weapon is clear and safe. One video I want to make so bad is firing a Bionicle Xamor Sphere out of a real musket. So if anybody has a musket, they're willing to let me load Bionicle pieces into and shoot them, then please let me know. And you better believe we're shooting it at Paracas. I'm going to buy like 10 Paraka off eBay and we'll smoke them. Whoa, Rudaka? Do we get to fight Rudaka this early in the game? Heck yeah. She is the only Bionicle to have two boob pieces. What will Rudaka be weak to? Well, she's a major hottie, so got to go with water to cool her off a little bit. Hmm, it's kind of hard to build a Bionicle without the instructions. The Paraka Rap should be paid DLC for this game. I would have bought it. I also would have bought the ability to play as Korok the Ice Borok. I guess instead of monetizing the game, they were hoping that kids would play the game and then want to buy Bionicles. So like physical Bionicles were the microtransactions. Can we go back to that model of gaming? Fun fact, this game actually was going to be rated M because back then the ESRB was like, oh, if you're a shooter, then you're rated M. And the Bionicle Heroes DS version was a first person shooter. And the ESRB is idiots. And they were like, well, if it's a first-person shooter, it's rated M, because shooting is like a M-rated genre, even though it was the Bionicle video game. I mean, with a name like Menace and Keep, I can see how Bionicles might be perceived as a little violent, but come on. You thought Bionicle was a kid's game? You fool. Bionicle's a game where you kill mutilated stumps of people. He's just begging for his life, and I'm gonna put him down. That fight was pretty tough. I need to unwind with something a bit more relaxing and cerebral, such as Bonkle, the Bionicle Wordle. First word, I'm going Umbra. How's Umbra looking? An M and an A? Okay, not bad. Let's try. Matau. The A does go there. Okay. 
Got some intel. Every guest has to be an actual Bionicle's name. That's what makes Bionicle Wordle so hard. You can't use normal words. It can only be Bionicle words. Wombi? Is Wombi a Bionicle? Well, there's no B. Also, it's not a real Bionicle. Puku. Puku gives me an E and a K. Oh, we got four of the letters. We got this. Oh, Maker. It's gotta be Maker, right? Because, like, thank the Maker. Is that a Bionicle thing? No, it's not. Oh, that's, must, that's what C-3PO says. Ah. Uh. I'm going common. Oh. Oh, hey, it was common. He was a Po Matoran who made sure that all of the carvings in Po Koro would not disintegrate or begin to wear away. Duh. Who could forget his famous quote, I am constantly taking care of the sculptures that they do not disintegrate time and weather take their toll on our great works where you're not dust, the enemy of creation is disintegration. That's the famous quote from Common. I want an official design of pre-mutation Nadiki. My conspiracy theory is that's what Toa Iruni was supposed to be. Because Toa Iruni has Nadiki vibes. If his armor was silver instead of gold, I would be like 100% sure about that theory. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Toa Iruni was supposed to be the pre-mutation Toa Nadiki? Let me know in the comments. What is my my Paraka tier list. Let's see. Vizok has to be at the bottom. Sorry, Vizok. Right above him, I gotta go with, uh, gotta go with Heikon. Heikon is kind of not as cool as the other ones too, but he has, he has a cooler gun. His gun is much cooler. Then we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go Thok in the number four hole, because I like Thok's gun. Oh, then we gotta go Radak. I'm a big Radak fan. His weapon is pretty cool. It's like a big old drill thing. Kind of a weird face, but the weapon is cool, so it's fine. Then I gotta go Avac at number two, because Avac's jackhammer gun thing is awesome, and also his music in Bionicle Heroes is really good. And in the number one spot is Zaktan, of course. So that's my Paracos tier list. Let me know if you agree. Here's my main man, Axon. Axon comes dangerously close to having Rudaka boobs. Those Nuva shoulders are almost Nuva boobs, but not quite. He doesn't quite have Nuva boobs because the Nuva chest piece protects him from it, but I still think that Axon deserves some flack for potentially pioneering the idea of Nuva boobs in the Bionicle community. This game is pretty repetitive. There's not a whole lot to it. It's not very in-depth, but I do have to say, after playing it for like two hours, I do feel strangely compelled to 100% the whole thing. It's not even going to be like entertaining to do that, but I feel oddly compelled. That's the power of Lego games. The main thing you unlock in Bionicle Heroes is stuff for the Paraka playground. So I just bought the Paraka shooting gallery. Let's go see it in action. In the Paraka playground, all the Parakas that you have killed wander around and just chill out and have a totally fun time. And you can make them engage in many hilarious antics. This is the funniest thing you've ever seen. Get ready. Get ready to laugh. I challenge you to a shootout, Avok. Okay, let's see who will win. These pieces seem kind of oversized to you. Uh, whatever. Get him. Ooh, good shot, Avak. Aha, you can't beat me, Thok. <coughs> Oh, Avac, you sneezed and messed up Thok's shot. That's not fair. Kill him. Yeah, kill him, Thok. So, see, that was pretty funny. If you're, like, seven years old, that's very hilarious. Hey, it's me. It's Oboe Shoes. I was gonna put the Paraka rap here, but somebody is copyright striking that song on YouTube, which is really cool. I hope that person is proud of themselves for ruining my funny outro joke. Oh, well, I guess you just have to pretend that song is playing while Thok dances.